Oslo is the operator of the integrated system for transporting gas from the Norwegian continental shelf to other European countries. For several years, Gasco has been involved in developing robotic solutions for inspections of pressure vessels. This is something that Gasco has worked with over a long time. We started in 2013. Testing started in 2016, and now we are in 2019, and now we are on the site and use these solutions. Nyhamna is one of the gas process plants where Gasco is the operator. Shell is the technical service provider, and at the moment, there is a turnaround where six pressure vessels will be inspected with the use of a robotic solution. I ser ikke lenger noen gode grunner for å drive og sende folk inn i tanker, så sant ikke noe må repareres. Det er definitivt framtiden også. One of the benefits of using robots is time savings. If an inspector has to enter the pressure vessel, every pipe connected to the pressure vessel has to be detached. Hvis du ser på så noe litt større gassgrubber her, som hvor vi har sånne kompaktfranser, alt må blindes av på nærmeste pressen punkt på tanken. Du sparer fort enn tre dager med maskeruing også på per tank. Two robots will be used during the inspection. The snake and the bike. The robots are a part of a toolbox, each with its own set of advantages. The snake is a four meter long robot arm equipped with a 30 times optical zoom camera. It also has a light that can switch from side to side. Med den lyssettingen hvor du kan switche fra side til side og få fram seg skyggeverkninger. Det er akkurat samme som du gjør med i lommeløpet når du er inne der som inspektør. The bike is a crawler with magnetic wheels. Several types of tools and sensors can be attached to it. A crew from Maintech will be operating the bike and the snake during the inspections. Ole Engan is one of Norway's most experienced certified inspectors and embraces the new robot technology for inspections. It's very interesting and I think this will be very good. The combination of the bike and the snake will be phenomenal because the snake will get a quick overview so you can turn around and see the big things. But the bike can be driven to the different stuff. We can go in with a borroscope, we can have a ultralyd and do a cyclesmorning. Ja, gå helt inn på å undersøke ting vi ikke kommer inn til med snaken. The main tech crew has been given a 3D map of the pressure vessel, the nozzles and the areas of interest. Based on this map, they made a route for the robots. The whole inspection is filmed. Pictures are taken of areas of interest. The brand new technology auto-generates a report based on the pictures, videos and notes. Alexander Edvardsson from Shell is very pleased with the performance of the robots, especially the snake robot and its phenomenal camera and light rig, and the bike with its flexibility and maneuverability. I just thought, yes, it is so good. This is exactly what I think. It has been a long journey for Gasco and their collaborators, developing the robotic toolbox for inspection of pressure vessels, making it all that more pleasing to see it perform as well as it does and to see the inspectors get excited and pleased. I have been with here in these projects for a long time now. I have had good cooperation with inspectors and personnel from many of our anlegg. Men det å se den gleden og nytten, spesielt nytten som de har av disse løsningene, er veldig kjekt, og det gir meg veldig mye.